There are four approaches to aspirating or injecting the knee. These include the medial retropatello, lateral retropatello, anterior and suprapatello. The latter is used in cases of large suprapatellar effusions. Aspiration of the knee, like other joints, is often done for diagnosis. This is absolutely important if you suspect septic arthritis. Aspiration can also be therapeutic, as removing large tense effusions can certainly reduce pain. Indications for injection include corticosteroid delivery for advanced osteoarthritis and inflammatory arthropathies. The medial retropatellar approach is often used and will be demonstrated in this video. Identify the superior and inferior poles of the patella. Medial injections are done halfway between these poles in the medial parapatellar groove. Palpate the groove underneath the patella. It is helpful when landmarking and needling to apply pressure with the other hand laterally to tilt the patella upwards and open the medial space. Using a retractable pen, mark a point within the deepest part of the groove. The most common mistake is entering too high and bouncing the underside of the patella. Medial knee injections are done with the patient lying supine and the knee extended. These injections should be done using sterile precautions. A no-touch technique is used, meaning that once the area is cleaned, it must not be touched with anything but sterile needles. Scrub the site and then clean in an outward fashion. Here I am using a mixture of 2% chlorhexidine and 70% isopropyl alcohol. Alternatively, you can use providing solution followed by alcohol. Local anesthetic can be applied to the skin and subcutaneous tissue using a 25 gauge needle, but experienced clinicians may forego this. If you anticipate difficulty or expect to aspirate fluid, which would mean a longer procedure, then you should use local anesthetic first. Here I have a mixture of 60 mg of Depomedrol mixed with 2% xylocaine without epinephrine and I am using a 22 gauge 1.5 inch needle. Apply gentle pressure on the patella laterally to tilt it up medially and open up the joint space. Advance the needle gently through your mark aiming laterally with a syringe held horizontally. Avoid angulating towards the femur or towards the patella, as you may hit cartilage. If bone is encountered, you should redirect the needle carefully. You will feel a give as the needle breaches the joint capsule, then advance another centimeter or so. Always aspirate to ensure that you're not in a blood vessel, then inject the solution. It should go in freely. If there is any resistance, then withdraw and adjust the needle. Finish off by drying the site and applying a bandage.